Okay, so next up is problem 8. This is the largest product in a series problem. And here it is right here. So the problem is to take this thousand digit number right here and find the greatest product of the 13 adjacent digits. So what, by this what it means is here's the first digit, the second digit, third digit. Now you multiply these together so you get 7 times 3, 21 times 1, 21 times 6, 126 times 7, like 850, 60, 70, something like that. So yeah, you multiply all these numbers going along for 13 digits, so up to about here somewhere, you see what the total is, and then you do the, the next 13 digits, see what the total is, then the next 13 digits, see what the total is, you do this for all the digits, um, these 5 here would couple with like the next 8, so it is like a looping sort of thing, that like you'd go off the end of the line to the beginning of the next line. Um, multiply them all together, see which one's the biggest, and then that is your answer. So, what we're going to do for this is uh, if I come back to code. So, like always, to find main. Now, we're going to have the the number. So, we're just going to call it number, the thousand digit number. Um, we're going to have this copy pasted in. So, do that, paste in. And then just set to work deleting all these uh, extra lines right here. So if I delete, delete, and then do that. So that there is our number. Now, what we're going to do with that number is uh, convert it to a string because it's easier to call out or at least it might only be possible on strings. Uh, it's easier to call out like the individual elements of a string rather than as a, a number. Um, to look at like things such as the first digit and the second digit. It's a lot easier on a string. So we're going to make it a string. Now, next what we're going to do is we're going to have to keep a um, a track of what the largest product so far is. So we're going to have largest um, so far. Now this is going to be equal to zero because we actually don't have one. Um, we have no idea what the, the largest so far is. Might be that they all equal to zero. They could like, obviously when you multiply by zero you end up with zero. Therefore, yeah. And they could actually be zero. So largest so far is zero. Now we're going to have to have a, a number that keeps track of the current uh, product. So we're going to call this current equals, uh, we're going to have this start at 1 because, um, how are we going to have this start at 1? Yeah, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the first, we're going to take number 1. Uh, we're going to take current and we're going to say for the first digit multiply current by the digit the second digit multiply current by the digit so we multiply each character or each um, each number I guess each digit by current until we've done 13 digits and then we say is current bigger than our largest so far if it is then our largest so far is now current uh, then we reset current back to 1 and then we move on to the next 13 digits so we're going to have um, so what we're going to do, we're going to say for i in len, uh, in range len, whoops, um, number, because we want it to loop over the number, uh, number minus, so we're going to want the first 13 digits, so we're going to have a variable called how many digits. That's going to be equal to 13 for us because we're doing the 13 digits. Uh, number minus how many digits? So for i in that range, we're going to say now for j in range, how many digits? And we're going to say takes the number 
um, sorry, we're going to say current times equals whoops times equals uh, number, and then we want i plus j. Do we want that element? So when i is equal to zero, which it'll start at. Um, sorry, so number, um, the length of number minus how many digits. So this thing here is in the wrong place. Uh, we actually need to close that bracket there and then minus the how many digits since how many digits is uh, an int that I would have returned it, I think. Um, so yeah, length of number is going to be 1000 minus how many digits, so that's going to be 13, so it's going to be 987. Um, so for i in range 987, for j in range 13, current times equals number i plus j. Now i and j are going to start at 0, so it's going to be number 0, which is going to be 7. So we're going to say current times equals 7, um, that will make current now 7. Then j is going to get iterated to 1, that's going to make i plus j equal to 1, that's going to take us to 3. So 7 times 3 we get the 21 and so on so on. Now eventually j is going to reach its maximum which is uh, it's going to be 12. Now 12 obviously means the first 13 digits because of the zero indexing. Um, once it reaches 12 we have the end of current so once it reaches 12 we know we've finished Now we're going to say if current is bigger than large so far, large so far equals current, now we need to set current equal to 1 to reset it, then at the end we want to print, whoops, print large so far, now call main. So once we've iterated over the 13 digits and found out what current is, we want to check if current's bigger than the largest so far, and if it is, we want to save it as our largest so far, because we've now found a new largest so far. Um, then we want to reset current so we can do this thing again. Then once we reset current, it's going to go back to this for loop and say right now i equals 1, so now it's going to start at the, the digit 3, um, and go along that way, and hopefully iterate through them all. So I'm going to save that. I'm now going to run that. Okay, so problem I'm, I've got here. <coughs> Apologies. Oh, so problem I've got here is current is an integer and number is a string. We change it to a string up here. So before I multiply by this thing here, I need to change this thing to a string. Um, that should fix that. Nope, where am I looking? So, oh, I've changed it to a string, even though it's a string. So int. There we go. So, hopefully that's the answer. 253-146-240-00. So if I click up the answer, um, Two three five uh, one four six two four zero zero zero. So that is actually right. We have got the right answer there. Um, so yeah, quite quite an easy problem this one. Didn't take very long. Um, hopefully you understood what I did. Pretty short code and pretty efficient. You see when I run this, um, instant answer. And you can change this how many digits to anything you want and see what all the answers are. So you could even do something where like if you wanted you could uh, have something that sees what is the largest you can get this number uh, to create the biggest answer. So you could have like some sort of iterator through how many digits. Um, since this video is so short I might actually add that right now. Um, so if anyone was just looking for the answer to the problem there you go and um, feel free to turn the video off. But for anyone else, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say how many digits equals 1. Um, am I going to say that? So No, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going 
going to keep that equal to 13, I'm just going to comment that out because I do actually want to keep this hand so I'm going to just save that, I'm going to new file, save. So there's going to be a point 0.1 of this one as well, and then copy over all this, get rid of that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this, and now we're going to tab all this over and we're going to put all this inside a for how many digits in range len number um, and hopefully that will give us now the hmm, interesting Uh, oh, I'm running the uh, the wrong code. Whoops! I always forget to do this. So point one, enter. So this is going to take a while purely because we're looping over like a thousand digit number. So it's going to run through this section of code like a thousand times. It's going to be hitting this, then this thing right here is going to hit 987 times so already that's like a million different loops it's going to do then it's going to hit this which is like how many digits could be up to a, a thousand so it could be potentially hitting like a billion different combinations here um, I'm not even sure if this will end this is actually pretty terrible um, what we could do is we could have some sort of scanner go through this and detect where the zeros are. Oh, there we go, it's finished. So, that didn't actually take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. But this number right here is the biggest number. So now I kind of want to see how many digits was this made from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, when we change largest so far, equal to current, we're going to say, um, digits needed, equal to one. And then when we've done this, we're going to say, digits needed equal to how many digits so this will tell us how many digits produce the biggest uh, number produce that huge thing um, yeah so once that returns we can actually then go back uh, whoops I didn't mean to do that I want to open up the original one And now once we find out how many digits we need, we can change this number to that many, dig that many digits and then run this old code with that number of digits and it should get the same answer, um, but a lot quicker. I've just realised this isn't actually ever going to print the digits needed. So if I print out, um, if I go into here, print digits needed, and I also want to print out the i to find out where it starts. And I'm going to cancel this and run again. So you see digits needed. Um, it's got up to 69 digits so far, and then that's like. 673 position, uh, position 673. So I'll bring this back up a sec in a sec on the screen. Um, you're going to see this now gets stuck because I'm pretty sure that is going to be the longest chain of numbers that doesn't have a zero in it. Uh, the reason it looks like it's stuck is because now it's checking like all the other different eyes that are completely irrelevant because now we're constantly hitting zeros and all the answers it's returning are probably just zero. Um, it's unlikely that it's found any longer strings of digits that aren't going to give big numbers. So, back to this thing right here. Now, position 673. Um, since this is a thousand digit number, and I'm guessing these are like 25 by 40 or something. So, 40 wide and then like 25 down or something. How many, how many columns have we got? Uh, rows we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 down to make a thousand digit number, you're going to need now 50 across. So if we go, this is 50 digits, 100 digits, 150, so you can see we can get to 673 by going down um, 13 rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now 673 probably is this one right here, probably starts right here, um, nope I'm wrong there, is it this row, that would make more sense, oh no it might be here, this might be it, so you can see here we've got a huge string of loads of different numbers up to there, that's not actually 69, I don't think, definitely not 69 would be more than, uh, or could it be, Yeah, there we go. So that's the string right there. That string of digits has no zeros in, you see. Um, and I'm pretty sure if we times all the numbers together, it would equal that huge number that we got earlier. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in what the biggest number is in this grid that you can multiply them all together by, um, to get, then that is the answer. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you've got any questions on how to do stuff, uh, I'm happy to help, I enjoy doing stuff like this, so yeah that's it, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.